Access denied. Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. Hello and welcome sa first session ng Enterprise Resource Planning. Pag-uusapan natin dito ang introduction kung ano ba talaga ang ERP. The first question dito ay what is Enterprise Resource Planning? This is a very good thing na umuuso ngayon lalo sa modern day business. But when we say na ERP sa kanyang pinakang core, it is everything that automates the process ng mga business. Meron silang maayos na insight, meron silang control, they have overall efficiency and connectivity sa lahat ng mga modules na connected dito. That is a very high level or an oversimplified explanation. But then again, there are lots of things na nakoconsider kasi dito. Example, meron silang central database for all of the records, meron silang mga including manufacturing supply chain na mga modules, and there are a lot more. This is pretty pretty interesting especially if you have a medium to large business na nag-i-engage na mismo sa ERP. Now, bakit mahalaga kaya ang in, uh, enterprise resource planning to, ent uh, to businesses? Well, To simply put, kapag sinabi natin ERP is that imagine if you have a very low system overhead or control na kailangan. Ibig sabihin, everything is organized. Everything is at its place. Ibig sabihin, dun sa part na yon is it is very important na makikita natin that everything is being efficient. As easy as it is. The shorter the process, the faster the output, the better. Now, it is very important to... Ma uh, To have an ERP system sa mga ganitong uh, mga medium to large enterprises to have an efficient overall process without sacrificing the quality or performance. Sa mga business, kapag mabagal yung system mo, there could have delays sa process. At kapag nag-down yan, of course, there's a very big impact. Just imagine if meron ang Lazada or Shopee na nag-down yung kanilang system, yung mga rider or sabihin nilang mga, uh, halimbawa, grab, Uh, yung mga rider nila can't access the system. Hindi nila makita yung information. Just imagine that. ba? Diba? It is a catastrophic loss of revenue. That's why having an optimal enterprise uh, resource planning system is very, very important sa mga business today. Not just uh, sa mga large corporation but then again, tulad ng nasabi sa medium enterprises. Lalo-lalo na if you have lots of operation that is going on. Now, Paano ba gumagana ang enterprise system? Okay, so this is an oversimplified and high-level overview. 
unang una is it is defi uh, it has a defined data structure meaning everything is well organized well written kung paano yung kanya magiging uh, approach sa mga data kung saan papasok saan pupunta saan may store On the other hand, meron tayong data information from different group. Just imagine that everything is at place na kung saan they are thinking to the expected and efficient way. I think napakabilis nun and I think napakaganda nung magiging approach in a sense na kung saan kapag lahat ay sabay-sabay na pumapasok, hindi nagkakagulo-gulo pa din yung data because everything is well organized and designed. Now, the, uh, the third one is data is formatted based on its process. Of course. So, depende syempre sa magiging proseso ng business. Of course, everything, every business has their own practices, her, her, uh, has their own approach. Of course, uh, kaya dapat mag-adjust ng ERP system sa mga ganong pagkakataon. Next one has specific modules for each process. This is true. So, sa buong system, hindi mo na kailangan ng multiple eh. Dati kasi hiwa-hiwalay, bukod yung inventory, bukod yung supply chain, bukod yung sa employees, sa HR, it's kinda hard to manage. But just imagine if you have a scalable ERP system na lahat ng modules are all connected and implemented doon sa iisang system lang. I think that's a very, very fast way to, to have a great detailed monitoring sa lahat ng nangyayari throughout the process. And because of that, meron tayong smooth flow of data since it is scalable. And uh, sa number six, business specific usage. Just imagine a system that can adapt dun sa inyong process. Of course, uh, given na meron mga development adjustment, but that is a very great, uh, great leap. Meron kayang mag-adapt. Pagpatuloy natin, how can ERP improve or help a business? Now, sa case na to is the issue mitigation. Magkakamalit, magkakamalit tayo. We cannot be right all the time. Pero ang sinasabi dito is that you can lessen the, the problem. Kasi halimbawa, uy, meron palang process na na-bypass or kaya may mga process na hindi na i-complete or na-comply. In that case, that will be an issue because that process can be an input to the second or to the other processes. So, it's kind of complicated. With this, bago pa mangyari yun, you can already see a quite uh, an available solution. Number two, detailed view of every process. Just imagine, no, in real time, nakikita mo on what needs to be processed, on what is currently happening, on what is supposed to be delivered within the specific deadline or date. Maganda pa dito is the process automation. It is very, very important na makita natin because hindi naman tayo gising 24-7 and things need to get processed kahit pa anong oras, whether it's a holiday, a weekend. Napaka-importante. And on the other part dito is the access to data. It is very, very cool na kung saan you have an organized set of data that is readily available sa paghawak mo or sa pag-incharge mo sa kung ano man yung iyong handle. And updated information real-time. Just imagine, ano, kung kailangan mo ng data, nakikita mo siya, tapos bukas nagbago pala, hindi mo napabalikan. What you have is already updated real-time. And with that, sa mga information na meron ka, you have a support business decision on what to do next. So as you can see, this is kinda very effective. Now, sa mga na-discuss natin, na pag usapan do you think, How can you define ERP system? At sa yung palagay, how can ERP improve or help a business? Of course, there are lots of ways bukod dyan. But these just are some. No, in your own point of view, ano pa kaya yung pwede niyang i-improve? Let us proceed. So, sino ba yung gumagamit ng mga ERP? This is very, very important to understand that hindi lang ikaw ang gumagamit niyan. First things first, the financial services. Just imagine if walang monitoring ang financial services. Yung magkulang ka lang na isang sentimo per user nito or per individual. That's nakakabawas ng malaking confidence yon. Next one are the IT services. Of course, tulad na nabanggit natin, you cannot monitor the process all the time. Hindi mo kaya that uh, iisa-isahin mo yan. Do sabihin natin kung dalawa, tatlong process, okay, pwede. But if uh, kung malaking corporation na kayo, manual approach isn't really good. 
kasi that is prone to error. Next one ay the manufacturing. So, ibig sabihin, halimbawa may isang module sila na inventory, let us say that lahat ng dumarating na mga materyales, umaalis, or binibili, pinapurchase, nabibili, something like that, they have a consolidated record. Also, the retail shop. For example, I'm pretty sure that Pure Gold has an ERP system. Of course, nakapunta na kayo sa Pure Gold at yung kanilang cashier is just one small part of the ERP. Hindi pwedeng mawala ang transportation and logistics because imagine kung wala silang sistema, yung magdi-deliver ng Shopee, ng Lazada, ng JRS o kung ano man sa inyo, at some point, hindi nila ma-access yung system. And I'm pretty sure na hindi sila nagkakabisado ng mga address ng kanilang pagpupuntahan or pagdadalahan ng kanilang product. In that case, that's a very big problem. So, next one is the wholesale distribution. No? Merong mga wholesale na kung saan, halimbawa, uh, tulad ng, uh, ano ba yung malaki sa isang area, halimbawa, MNW, of course, hindi na sila bibili ng tingi. Of course, they have a business to run. That's why it is a huge uh, advantage kung sila ay wholesale distribution kasi mas makakamura sila at mas malaki ang magiging tubo nila. Now, another question. Bukod sa mga nandito, sino pa kaya ang gumagamit ng ERP at bakit? Alright, so moving on, meron tayong mga key features of ERP systems. For example, ay yung mga common database for synchronous approach ng ating mga record. Pwede siyang ma-update real-time. Of course, provided that the database is highly scalable and available. At ang maganda dito is, hindi mahirap mag-adjust to the extent na consistent ang kanyang user interface. So malamang yung user experience mo, malamang consistent din. One good thing dito are the business process integration. Ibig sabihin yan is that you have a, an automated approach. Ito, magkasama sa trade tsaka si automation tsaka si business process integration. Because kung magkakaroon tayo ng manual uh, approach sa lahat ng bagay, it will be tedious. Pwedeng magkamali, pwedeng malimutan, pwedeng malampasan. But sa business process, if automation is integrated, then pretty much kahit walang human intervention ay kayang-kaya. And last one would be the data analysis because you have all the consolidated, well-structured na mga reports, data, and information. With this, it is very easy for you to conduct a data analysis.